tremblement de terre énorme pour début mars. Je vous laisse regarder la vidéo, on se voit juste après pour une explication. And all together makes the first week of March extremely critical. Again, we could see a major to great seismic event as a result. It could be mid-7, but also well above magnitude 8. I'm not exaggerating here. I'm not trying to create fear. This is a warning because the critical planetary geometry that we see here is known to cause major to great seismic events. And we should not underestimate it. So this Mars-Venus-Saturn conjunction is already very close in the conjunction around the second. So if we consider the second, we actually have four planetary conjunctions converging. Now, it may not be just one single larger seismic event. It could be uh, multiple uh, seismic events well above magnitude six in this first week of March. And we actually could be dealing with two scenarios here. Either we're going to have the largest seismic event around the third or fourth, just following the critical planetary geometry on the second, or, and then maybe also some seismic increase after the fifth, that will be around the sixth, seventh at the time of full moon, or we could see an additional seismic increase around the third, fourth, and then the largest seismic event following the planetary geometry on the fifth, and it would be around the sixth, seventh with the full moon. Ces étoiles et leurs cycles sont mentionnés dans le Coran dans une sourate de la fin des temps quand le paradis sera rapproché. Et aussi avec Joseph P sur lui, on a onze planètes qui se et le soleil et la lune, comme le monsieur vient de montrer à peu près, qui se prosternent devant lui. Y a-t-il un signe pour la fin des temps Et le rêve de Joseph Je sais pas. Salam alaikum. Abonnez-vous, likez, partagez.